Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am here today to go over the pros and cons for the Carnival Freedom Cruise. We went on this cruise April 1st through April 6th, so it was a six day, five night cruise, which was a perfect amount of time to be on our very first cruise ever. I have already made a few other vlogs talking about our excursions that we did, going over some of the cruise food. So go check those out on the channel. I will actually drop the link for all of those below in this description. So let's get right into it. And I am going to start off with the pros for the Carnival Freedom Cruise. I think one of the main things I wanted to talk about that is definitely a pro is that Carnival has something that they offer on all their cruises called Faster to the Fun. Faster to the Fun was an upgrade basically um, to where you pay $60 and Faster to the Fun got us access to board the ship early, leave the ship early, and cut lines for the guest services. So if we needed any assistance at guest services, they had a special area for the faster to the fun. I loved how we were able to get off the cruise ship pretty much before all the rest of the cruise members. That last morning, it was a super early morning for us, but we were off the cruise ship by like 8.30 in the morning. So we had the whole rest of the day. Highly recommend Faster the Fun. Look into upgrading um, your cruise if that's something you're definitely interested in. Another pro is definitely getting the drink package. So with the drink package, you have unlimited sodas, juices, milkshakes, Gatorade, all of these drinks at the cafes and around the cruise are unlimited. You could walk up to a bar, you ask them for a soda, it's free. Now, I will say there is a caveat to the alcohol part. You do get 15 alcoholic beverages a day with the drink package. And not to mention the drink package does cost $50 per person per day. So if you were looking at getting alcoholic beverages on board, I would definitely suggest getting this drink package. It was very nice to just hand them your card, your Carnival Cruise card, your little plastic card, and you would have a drink in your hand in minutes. It was great. And you just sign a receipt. You are able to add additional gratuity on the receipts but we actually paid for gratuity beforehand when we, when we purchased the drink package, which was nice. But if we felt like we wanted to add additional gratuity, we could. Definitely another pro to the Carnival Freedom cruise that we went on was the two ports that we went to were awesome. We stopped at Amber Cove, which is a part of the Dominican Republic, and then we also stopped in Turks and Caicos. Both days were amazing and the excursions that they have to offer are there's so many there's so many good ones to choose from it was actually hard to narrow it down of what we wanted to do when we were looking at excursions before we got on our cruise but we ended up picking two extreme extremely fun excursions family friendly and you're going to have plenty of options if you do end up going to both of these ports and not to mention they're just two beautiful places. The people were so nice. Everyone was friendly. It was very clean. The water, the beaches, beautiful. Definitely another pro of the Carnival Freedom was all the activities that they have to offer day to day. And being able to look on the app and seeing what activities they have going on for not only kids, but most importantly, us adults. Well, there was so much to choose from. We did bingo, um, which you could actually win cash prizes. We did deal or no deal. We also uh, went to the love and marriage, which was a an adult only show. It was so much fun. So not only does the Carnival Freedom have all those activities going on, but you've also got an adult only pool. You've got a casino, which is definitely 18 and up to be in there. And then there's a bunch of other um, bars and restaurants that a lot of adults hung around and just had a grand old time. 
I have two more pros that I'm going over. That next one is we were definitely very excited to see how big the room was on this cruise ship. We had so much space and we thought it was gonna be much, much smaller. It was just the two of us on the cruise. So we had a king size bed. There was also a couch, plenty of storage. Definitely wanna make sure you bring an outlet extender because there's literally one outlet in the room. So keep that in mind if you have a lot of things you need to charge up. But overall, we were certainly pleased with not only how big the room was, but also the room service. We had a wonderful room service leader on our floor named Richard. He gave us a business card and he was super nice, super friendly, and was always available to if we needed anything at any time. The next pro is definitely the quick service foods that are included with your cruise fare. So that means Guy's Burger Joint, the Pizza Pirate. Now, I didn't try this, but they have the Blue Iguana, which has tacos and margaritas and all those things. But I've heard raving reviews, and that is also included with your cruise fare. So I did make a food vlog, so go check that out. It's in the description below, but the quick service food that is included with the cruise fare is definitely a plus. Now we're gonna flip over to the cons of the Carnival Freedom. Definitely a huge con for our cruise that we were on specifically was the crowd level. I mean, it was spring break. This is a smaller cruise ship and the lines for certain things got super duper long. The lines for the buffet during prime hours for lunch and dinner and breakfast even were super long. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking at booking a cruise, try to look during the off season. You could, first of all, get a very good deal. And second of all, not have to deal with a super overbooked and overcrowded ship. I think the next con that I wanted to point out was that on the Carnival Freedom, when you step outside onto some of the decks that overlook the beautiful views, is that those decks were mostly smoking areas for guests and if you do not want to be around smoke um it was very hard to just kind of stand and and look out at the views and the scenery i definitely wish that there were more areas that were non-smoking that you could get great views from those decks i mean you do have like the very tip top deck but just being able to step outside um kind of from the middle section of the ship and get some good views they're all smoking areas for the most part. Lastly, one of the cons that I wanted to point out about this ship in particular is that it is a pretty old ship. There was a lot of outdated decoration. You could tell it was old. Some of the amenities on the ship, you could just see that this ship had not, you know, it definitely needed some more updates. It's had renovations before and some refurbishments, but it could use some remodeling I think that if Carnival just made it look a little more modern in certain areas, that would do the trick for sure. So those were the main pros and cons, but one thing I wanted to point out is that we had an awesome cruise director by the name of Gabe who made the cruise and the entire experience so much fun for people of all ages. On the last night of the cruise, there was a fun game that Gabe had going on in the middle of the atrium lobby on deck three, where you had, it was basically like a music game where you had to try to name the song as quickly as possible. And then he started to pull people in that were comfortable dancing and just having a fun time. So of course I had to get out there and show off some dance moves. And believe it or not, I actually ended up being pulled up onto the stage and leading the crowd with some of my silly dance moves. You know, everything she does goes right to the nose. Stay there, stay there. We're gonna try to copy everything you do, we're gonna do it with you. But start easy, you guys, start easy. Oh, okay. It was such a great night. 
in such a fun way to end our cruise because that very next morning was our last morning and we did have to get off the ship. But Gabe, the cruise director, he is awesome. And he ran the show. He was full of energy. He was super good with kids. He made the shows and entertainment really, really fun. So props to Gabe, props to Carnival Freedom for having Gabe as cruise director. Well, I hope that you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I truly appreciate all the support and you guys checking these videos out. If you want to see more Carnival Freedom vlogs, go to my channel. Look in the description below. Again, thanks for tuning in. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.